Good evening everybody, my name is Falgun and you're watching Bailey's Concepts. We all have observed in our daily life that in maybe you are in a garden or maybe in somewhere in the forest, right? The point of time, um, I guess you have observed that uh, some uh, insects, you know, around you are just uh, moving fastly and uh, with a great phenomena um, occurring in there. So what is that phenomena? So basically the insects are not only moving but uh, some sort of uh, light is uh, pushing back from the body of an um, insects i hope you have observed that kind of phenomena in the insects in some part of your life right so here what we are going to discuss today is that is the phenomena of emission of light from the organism's body that phenomena is called bioluminescence okay so we basically today we're going to discuss about the mechanism of the bioluminescence okay what is the basic mechanism of uh, that uh, basically you know the em emission of the light from the body right how it uh, does occur what actually important chemical is needed for that uh, phenomena okay so before uh, going to the deep uh, deep understanding about the uh, phenomena so let us understand some basics about it okay so so basically if anybody asks you or you also might have doubt like what how can i define a bioluminescence okay so here the definition is so it is a phenomena of emission of visible light from the or living organism is called as a bioluminescence okay so now we are good with the definition okay so let us understand who actually discovered or who actually identified it actually it was first identified by aristotle okay and it has been seen in fishes okay in dinoflagellates and uh, insects bacteria and some fungi as well okay it can be better understood if you have uh, seen uh, the movie called uh, life of pi okay in that movie the small guy uh, looks uh, in this is the middle part of the movie actually okay this scene is the middle part of the movie in that scene in that particular scene when he is lost in the uh, lost in that uh, ocean at night the boy observes uh, um, into the sea okay then he observed a lot many fishes is moving inside or below the boat where he was sitting and not only they are moving but uh, there is an emission of light from the fishes right from the body of the fishes okay so he might not understood what is that phenomena but we can understand about it okay so that is when as i mentioned again i'm mentioning okay as that is called as a bioluminescence okay there are around 75 species of fungal members source of bioluminescence okay so most basically they are they comes under these 70 then these 75 species basically come under agricultures and ascomycetes okay so these these are some uh, basics about uh, the bioluminescence so if we'll talk about the mechanism so here we go so now we're going to discuss about the mechanism of the uh, bioluminescence okay so the mechanism before understanding this mechanism let us uh, say something so the mechanism is so simple that uh, you even don't require minutes to understand you require uh, some uh, seconds to understand so let us begin this okay so this is an uh, oxygen dependent reaction this uh, bioluminescence is an oxygen dependent reaction what does it mean so to occur this bioluminescence in any particular organisms there is the requirement of uh, oxygen oxygen is crucially required for this mechanism okay so what actually happens here is if any organism like uh, fungi, fishes, uh, dinoflagellates, etc. Okay, if the organism has the powerful antioxidant hispidin, okay, if any organism has antioxidant hispidin, okay, then bioluminescence is possible. So, how it is possible, let us discuss. Okay, so once the antioxidant hispidin is uh, present okay it is hydrolyzed okay hydrolyzed in the sense uh, 
uh, it is broken down by an enzyme called as an hispidin 3 hydrolase this enzyme basically uh, breaks down breaks down the antioxidant hispidin okay this enzyme basically breaks down the hispidin okay to form the other compound uh, the other compound is luciferin okay this is the other compound uh, with the or i i would say this is an uh, product of the uh, enzymatic reaction uh, uh, with the hispidin okay this enzyme will act on this hispidin to give rise to luciferin okay so once this luciferin is uh, formed luciferin is again hydrolyzed uh, from the enzyme called as an luciferase okay basically this is all about the phenomena of uh, bioluminescence okay so i hope you got this so now let us uh, recap what we have studied okay so basically in um, what we have studied actually is uh, it is an oxygen dependent reaction first point secondly there there should be presence of uh, antioxidant that is called as an hispidin in then any organism which shows bioluminescence mechanism okay so this hispidin is uh, hydrolyzed by an enzyme or broken down by an enzyme that is that enzyme named as uh, hispidin 3 hydrolase okay once it is uh, broken down and it forms now it forms luciferin okay this is a chemical compound which forms from the hispidin by the hydrolysis okay so this is called as a luciferin once the luciferin is formed it is again hydrolyzed okay it is again broken down by an enzyme uh, which breaks the luciferin is called luciferase okay luciferase breaks the enzyme sorry luciferase enzyme breaks the luciferin okay which forms the liberation of energy here the liberation of energy um, occurs as a result of uh, this uh, breaking down by an enzyme okay so this liberation of energy or this uh, phenomena of liberation of energy is called as a bioluminescence so i hope you understood this all concept about the bioluminescence thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you soon